What's interesting, if you look at Scott, you know, his physical appearance from core to tiny music, mm -hmm. I mean, it really looks like two different people. Scott would come in with ideas, and uh, he originally came in, going back to core, he originally came in with the, the, the riff to Dead and Bloated. Um, and Verbally. Yeah. Yeah, he, he didn't really know how to play an instrument, but he would definitely get it across vocally. He did pick up a guitar for Tumble in the Rough, and he drove us crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he drove us crazy yeah, with There that. was a guitar here. We could show you why. Yeah. He drove us crazy with that because every time we were around him, he played two chords, and he'd go, da 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 Man, I got this idea. There's a shit change. And he would do that over and over. And it was like, that's. All right, we'll do it. We'll talk. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, be, you know, so, you know, we just musically made a song out of that. But that's what he had. He had. <laughs> you know, and, and, you know, but you got to look at that energy that he had doing that. And there was a raw, like, I'm just learning to play guitar kind of energy. And there's so many aspects that, that, that Scott didn't know about musically, which made that interesting. You know, if, if he was a guy who knew as much as we did musically, it would have been a different band. But he, he came from a different place. And, and to be able to sit there and play two bar chords and go, yeah, check this out. Bah, nah, 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 nah. It was like with with, with sheer conviction. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's where it, the beginning of that song came from. So we really thought we'd get back to basics and really get back into our blues background. So we rented a 60,000 square foot house on 100 acres <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the Santa Ines Valley. We yeah. really wanted to get back to It was to all that. about yeah. cred, man. Yeah. All about cred. It was something we always wanted to do. We always looked back at you know, records like Goodbye Yellow Brick Road that were made in a, in a house and all these, you know, people that made records in houses. I think at that point, trying to keep the attention in a studio and having to show up to a studio was kind of a, a challenge. And, um, you know, we knew we would all be there and record. Um, well, the foyer of that house was almost as big as a gymnasium. It was like a a high school gymnasium, and we utilized each room and the sound of each room yeah. on that record. Or no room, because Eric mm -hmm. went out. Eric had this little thing about um, where he could record in the house, <laughs> drums. So he recorded. What has not been done before, yeah. you know? What's the challenge here? So he recorded out on the lawn. So um, Big Bang Baby yeah. was recorded on the lawn. Because yeah. contrary to what I thought, you go out to the lawn. There's no re there's no reflections coming back. So there's yeah. no reverb. It's just dry open grass area. So we set up out there, and I know the sprinklers were coming on. That's right. Within an hour could, or so, yeah. we had to make it quick. Um, I don't know why we couldn't have just turned off the sprinklers, but <laughs> I know, we didn't know how to. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then you were like, "All right, Lady Picture Show. Okay, let's record the drums up on the top floor in the attic in a cedar, cedar. lined closet." Yeah. It was like. Ugh. It's like good in theory as, until I got up there and started sweating. Yeah, it, was it was probably about 110 there. degrees, and that was a tough one. At that time, do you know what kind of videos were being made? There was right. million dollar video budgets. With the yachts and the helicopter shots. Yeah. And uh, yeah. the, 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 million you know, dollars you know what on it was? videos. You know what it was? We went to junior was? college and shot it for it was, nothing. It was simply like watching VH1 and seeing. Uh, What's that, Tony Basil? Nikki, you're so fine. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing that and going, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah. You know, did, or like Bowie's D DJ mm -hmm. video. She's like, that's just shot on that bad video, video. you know? Yeah. <laughs> so where did we shoot that? It's a junior college. It was, out it was a college, Japan. right? Yeah. No, it was at a room out to Panga Canyon. Okay, so after we shot the video, we edited it right there, right? Right there, yeah. So, so we're like, put in hearts. Yeah, put in, <laughs> put in, put in squares. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You know, and it's like we're gonna have, we're gonna have, we're gonna have this guy with a gorilla mask on hitting somebody over the head with a bottle. 
I, I forgot cool. that was in there, and I just yeah. saw that video recently, and I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, it was yeah. so, that is so funny.